So I want to look at Power Pivot and how we can enable tracing within Excel. So this is specific to the Power Pivot add-in for Excel. Um, and the uh, tracing options for you there can enable you to get uh, essentially a profiler trace from Power Pivot. So let's take a look at how we do that. So if we go to the Power Pivot tab, we can click on Settings. And then we see uh, Diagnostic Options. Um, here we can enable the Power Pivot tracing. And it'll give us a warning that it won't start tracing until the model's active. Um, so it's kind of on standby at this point. One thing you'll notice here though is that we really can't modify the events of what's collected. So it's basically on or off. We don't have a lot of options outside of that. Um, so let's go ahead and hit OK. And then if we click on Manage, this should start the data model at this point. And we can go back to the settings and we should see that we are tracing now. Um, and it'll give you the path of where the trace file goes to. By default, it's going to go to your desktop. Um, and uh, we'll come back to that trace file in a second. So let's go into, let's just pull in some data. So we'll go to Windows is fine. We'll just grab some AdventureWorks data next. And make this easy to spot. So we'll do select version as version. Make it simple. And it's going to be one row. We'll do that. You can see it's in there. And if we do a refresh, you can see that as well. Okay. So let's go ahead and close that. Now let's go back to settings and we can say we can turn this off by unchecking. And we are done. Come back. We see our trace file on the desktop here. Let's go ahead and open up Profiler Trace. And we can see our trace data. So, uh, this is pretty, uh, uh, if, if you've looked at a profiler trace for analysis services, this should look very familiar to you. It's going to be very similar. Um, so the other thing we can do is we can see here, because we went and got data from SQL Server. So if we search for at, at version, we should see uh, these items within the trace itself. So let's see, where are we? We should see let's go and run. We'll do notepad. Word wrap at at version. And there it is there. There's the query definition. So we can see where that's coming from. And then if we go, we can look for uh, other items in here. We'll see another allow. And then we'll see the actual text data here for select at, at version. Um, and this is on, uh, it should be a progress report. Yep. So, so we can actually spot those items within uh, the profiler trace. And we can also look at things uh, in terms of duration and how long did, did that operation take. So if we have a long running SQL query, um, that we look in Excel and we're like, hey, this is just taking a long time. We can try and identify uh, which one it is um, to see how we can modify that. So that's just something you can look at from uh, just from a power pivot uh, client side trace. Hopefully that helps you out.